In this video, I'm going to show you how to separate or how to split one large Word document into several different documents. So that's right, you're going to turn one file into several different files. Now, you might want to do this if you put together a large report and you want to separate it into different sections and those sections to be a different file. Or maybe it's something to do with training where you've got a big training course and you want to break it down into separate files rather than one big file. It can also help if the file is too big and you're trying to email it and this will break it down into separate ones. Whatever you're doing it for, let me show you how to do it. So here we have a document that I've already prepared with seven pages in total on it. The first step is to do this. What you need to do is use a heading one. Now you can change your headings beforehand if you wish to do it. It's going to come through in this font style, which is a blue font but you've got to click on heading one at the start of each area of the Word document where you want a new file to be created. Let's call this one section one and let's create a new one down here. Let's call it section two. So this time I've just written it and I'll just highlight it and go to heading one, but I could have done the same thing as before. I'll do that now actually. So I'll go to do heading one, what are we up to? Section three. Okay, so I've now got three sections in here. I've got section one, section two, section three, and we've got some more pages after that as well. Now, the sections don't have to be one page long. They can be one, two, three, 300 pages, whatever you want in. Once you've done this, go to view, and then go to outline. Now, when you click on this, it's gonna change the look of the Word document. Don't worry, don't be worried about this. This is what's meant to happen. If you wish to leave this outline view, you just click on close outline view. But for now, we want to stay in here. Now, each of these sections that you've created, so you've got section one, if I scroll down, you've got section two, then further on there'll be section three. And by the way, I call, I call them section one, two, and three just for training, but you can call them whatever you want. You can call it you know, business plan and then profits and loss accounts, you know, whatever you want to call them. But I've done it just to make it easier in this video. So the next thing you need to do is click anywhere on there and then do control A, which will select everything. And then you'll show levels. Click on that. We don't want all levels. We want level one. Now level one will be the highest level, so it will show us just the headings. Then you need to go and click on show document. Once again, you need to make sure you've got everything selected. So do control A or highlight them all and then click on create. So it should look like this. And you should have a little dot at the top as well. Now next step, is to save it. Go to File, and then choose Save As, and choose the location where you want to save it. Give it a name. I'll call it Test1. I've chosen the location, and I'll click Save. As I say, to come out of this view, you need to click on Close Outline View. Now what we're interested in is seeing the files. So I'm in the folder where they've all been separated and it was this one here that I saved them in. So I called the file test one and it's created section one, section two and section three. If I open up test one, you'll see it's not actually done anything. It's already open. That's the original document that we're working with. If I minimize that. Let's open up section one. So you now see that section one is open, it looks very familiar, but this time it's only got the two pages and it's got a blank page at the end. So I just need to tidy that one up. But let's go to section two. There you go, you can see it's section two. There you go, once again, it's got that just to tidy up, but you can see that it has worked. 
following this process has separated that one document into several separate documents. Of course, you can rename these to be whatever you want. Like I say, it could be business plan, SWOT analysis, profits and loss account, whatever you want to do with any of them. So just do that. Hopefully you found this video useful. If so, please like the video, subscribe to my channel for more top tech tips.